okay? Uh, George, go to the back office uh, on profile, uh, even on that one. Okay, everybody knows that you have uh, an automatic renewal in your back office. Everybody, you need a cup of coffee? Everybody wake up, because this is important. Hello? <laughs> This is very important. Okay. The company is growing extremely rapidly right now. Okay. And because of that growth, you need more people and you need to do expansions and computer expansions. <clears throat> well, the, the program on automatic renewals, it was a manual program. It doesn't automatic. It meant somebody in the office went through and made the renewal for you. Well, the company's getting too big for that. Just to have somebody in the office doing that. But if you collect, uh, and y'all been receiving emails about your renewals, okay? And it tells you if you go in your back office, you click renew now. Okay, right there, and when you click edit your profile, you got to click edit profile, and then you will see re that little link says renew now. If you know your renewal time is coming up, and you know when your renewal time is, you should, you need to be looking in your back office, go in there and click renew now. When you do that, when you click on that, it puts it into an automatic renewal. In other words, it puts it into the payroll program. That step has to be made. That was all done manually before. Now, they are writing programs so that the automatic renewal will be automatic renewal. But that's a lot of programming, and you got to interface it with your current programming, and you don't want anything to go wrong, so you got to beta test it offline, and then you got to interface it in line. In other words, that's not going to come anytime like the next week or two. But they're writing the program, have been writing the program. So as your renewals are coming up, you tell your people. For the new people, you don't have any problem because you don't renew for another year. Okay, but in the future in growth, always you have growth, you have more things added, and you're going to have situations when you bring on new countries, new things like that, that something extra needs to happen in that transition. Okay, now, for everybody who's been in the business longer than a year, your renewal dates are coming up. And so go in your back office, click on Renew Now, and it happens right there. So everybody that sponsored people, here's what I say, duplication. Everybody that sponsored somebody, call all the people you sponsored, walk them through that process on the date. How do you find out when they renew? You go to all your information's there because you can look in your Downline Explorer profile. You can click on go to Downline Explorer profile, George, and you can click on my personal enrollees. And then you can see your personal enrollees. You click on their name. Click on anybody's name. Kara Manley's fine. Click on David White. Okay, and it tells enroll December 2nd. Oh, okay. Hello. December 2nd. Guess what? I guarantee you it didn't, it didn't renew. So you need to call them. Tell them go in their back office, click on renew, and it's done. Okay. NB, here's what happens if you don't do that, okay? If you don't do that, they're running all renewals right now until the programming gets done. Everybody that didn't renew, they're putting into a batch program, and they're running that renewal at the end of the month. So they basically are gracing people in this interim extra renewal time, okay? Okay? But those 100 points won't post up. What happens if you have all of them posting up the same week? 
and you and you're only an associate or <laughs> exactly so guess what get your renewals done in the week that they're supposed to have done be done with the people that are renewing the other problem that it presents if their credit card expired and they run them in a batch run they didn't get to renew they will then be automatically canceled and their points set to zero. Mm. Okay? Now, if you catch it that week, you can call the company and get it, get the, give a good credit card and done. <laughs> but I say, don't do that. I say, do what I suggested the first time. Look at your business, look at the people you sponsored, Help them, and then help the people you sponsor do the same thing. And then you'll have your renewals in place until they can get the programming done that it actually takes place automatically without that manual click. Okay? Can y'all imagine one person at the office? All they did is click, 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 click all day long with thousands and thousands of people. Well, it got where it was, it, it took more than one person. It took two people. Click, 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 click. And, and now it's taking a whole bunch more. So programming became a necessity, okay? Okay. So renewals, administrative, any questions on that? Because that's extremely important to your paychecks and to your renewals and to your activity. <coughs> Well, that's the, on the 26th, that's in the same pay week. And so they, they ran that batch. All of November ran on December 1st. If you didn't click it, they sent people emails and told them that they could do this. A lot of people did. Most people didn't. And it all ran on December 1st. But you know when you're doing batch programming, you might miss one or two here and there. Okay? Batch programming is human error involves. Okay? So we have to work with the company in their transition to fully automate for a momentum growth curve. And I'm just saying how to do it. Okay? It's a real simple thing. Okay? So by looking at that, profile you just look at do you, did Rob wait wa waiver renew in December yet? I mean it's December the second, two thousand sixteen is when he joined. He's supposed to renew December the second. That was two days ago. Uh no, it's not renewed yet. It's not renewed. No. How because would you know if it would the, well because you would see a hundred points in your commission where you oh, see points, you. you'd see R. Rager with 100 points. December, only November was ran on December 1st. Not All December. of December oh, okay. is not going to get batch process until January the 1st. So remember, all of December, if they don't click renew, is going to be processed in one day. January 1st. Gotcha. Got it? Okay. So the same thing was for November. November is when they started having to go batch processing. Okay. Because they just couldn't have people just sitting. <laughs> Can you imagine if you're just a clicker? Yeah, right. How boring that would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you might even miss some, right? Sure. Exactly. Real human error. <laughs> so the programming has happened. And I say this is the way that we can help ourselves and help the company. We have our we have our renewals spaced out perfectly, right? Yeah. Hey. We we got we got more con we got more control and flexibility over it than we ever have right now. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that's pretty powerful. 